Hello and welcome to another FDM versus SLS 3D printing material competition. My name is Igor and you are watching my tech fun. Approximately a month ago I was contacted by PCBWay and they would like to sponsor one of my videos. They have 3D printing services uh, which is a great solution for those who don't have a 3D printer or maybe you have some budget 3D printer which is not able to print at higher temperatures but you need some stronger part or maybe you would like to have something from resin. I asked them uh, what is their strongest FDM and SLA material. For FDM they told me it is a PC, a polycarbonate. For SLA uh, it is a PERFORM. I said great, uh, I have those uh, test specimens which are regularly used in material tests. Print one or two pieces from each and send them to me. Uh, they told me there is a small problem because even one uh, is uh, too much. Uh, I have to reduce the number of the test specimens because the budget is limited for sponsoring. And this is not uh, new to me, I get used that uh, companies are skeptic, uh, especially with smaller YouTubers like me, if their investment will be worth it. So I told them, never mind, I, I don't want to reduce the number of the test specimens, I need at least one per each, uh, but they don't have to pay me anything above this. And they agreed. So uh, this started to be a sponsored video, I got these test specimens for free, I don't have to send them back, but uh, I'm not paid anything above this. Uh, before we see what is inside, first let's see the ordering process. The ordering process is very simple. I have to go to the PCBW website, click on the printing menu, and then drag and drop my STL files. Uh, I think six at a time, but later I can add more if I want to. And uh, when they load, I can see some estimated price. This is not the final value, uh, it will be the final after the review. And then I have to click on edit and change the material. Let's say this is a resin from perform. And I can change the quantity, for example. And I have to do it with each object. So edit, let's say this is from the polycarbonate. And I want it 100% infill, so I will add this information into the comment. And I have to do this with each object and then submit the request. I can see my shopping cart and it is waiting for the review, to, so 12 objects has to be checked. And after some time I noticed that uh, three objects didn't pass this uh, review, because uh, resin cannot have a wall thinner than 2 mm. So I have to go back to the Fusion, I have to remove actually these supports, they are designed for FDM printing to get better uh, adhesion to the bed, but with SLA I don't need this, so I remove them. And then I re-uploaded the file. Submit the new file. And then I, after some time I can see that uh, all 12 objects are approved. I can select all, process to the checkout. I can fill the form, make the payment and wait for my objects to arrive. It's time to see what's in the box. Stickers. Oh, pen. <laughs> and here they are. So I group them. These are printed with uh, FDM printing, and these are from resin. And uh, let's uh, check the dimensional accuracy. This is the test specimens for bending test, and it should be four millimeter. It's close. 10 millimeter. These are for impact test. Here I'm missing a little bit. 0.4 millimeter smaller. Thickness. It's a little bit bigger, but okay. The diameter. This is for shear stress. Uh, the diameter should be 5 millimeters. That's very close. This is for torque test, the diameter should be 6 mm, also very close. And uh, these are for tensile test uh, and layer adhesion. The smallest area uh, should be 4x4 four four mm. A little bit bigger. It's close, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeters bigger, but now let's see the resin. 
Okay, so these are printed in vertical position and this should be 4 by 4 millimeter and that's very close. <laughs> Something wrong with this part. The thickness should be equal. Properly this was printed in horizontal position and uh, this is 4 millimeter but this, this is 2.7 but it should be 4 millimeters. Hmm. For bending, okay that's okay. 4 millimeter, yes, that's okay. For impact test, okay. 6 millimeters for torque test, very close. And this is, mm, this should be 5 millimeters. This is 6, this should be 5 millimeters. But it's scaled up somehow, it's bigger. Even the length is bigger, 6 millimeters, it should be 5. So actually there are two specimens where the dimension is not really accurate, uh, both are from the resin. Uh, I will use in the calculation this cross-section area to recalculate uh, the tensile strength to get uh, equal values so they can be comparable. And I also have to clean these uh, test specimens for the FDM printing because I added these uh, small supports for easier printing. I'm starting with layer adhesion test. These test specimens are printed in vertical position. Of course with SLA we don't have a layers, uh, but I want to see are there any difference between the printing orientation. Starting with polycarbonate. I think the layer adhesion is a little bit weak here, so, so probably they should raise the printing temperature. Let me try to break it with my hand. Mm, here it was strong, for some reason, here it was quite weak. And these test specimens are printed in horizontal position, and I'm starting with polycarbonate. And now this is performed printed horizontally, but that thin version. Well, for the filling, uh, brake load for the resin was smaller, but uh, as you can see, this is thinner. But I will calculate from this cross section area the stress. And it's time for shear stress. It is double sided, but I will calculate the stress from the cross section areas because this is bigger. And here I had to use this bigger hole because this is 6 mm in diameter. Wow, this one exploded. For the feeling the resin was stronger but uh, it break very suddenly. But of course the diameter is also bigger. I will recalculate the stress according to the cross section areas. This is 3 point bending test based on ISO 178. Distance between supports is 50 mm and I want to record the load at 2 mm deformation, the braking load and the deformation on the brake. And again for the filling the resin broke very suddenly until I feel actually the deformation of the polycarbonate. This ISO impact test will uh, show us how brittle is this material. So I'm starting with polycarbonate and these are notched test specimens with smaller cross-section area of 4 by 8 millimeters. PC, zero position, perform. 
This is the scale and this is the position of the hammer on the zero position. And this is after breaking the PC test specimen. And this is after breaking the perform. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I got these distances. And using this equation, I can calculate the energy used for breaking these test specimens in joules. This is half kilogram hammer, and this is G, the acceleration constant. And the age must be in meters. In this twist test, I will use this torque meter, which can record the peak of one movement. And on the test specimens, which are 6 mm in diameter, this side goes into the wrench and the other side goes into the vise. Starting with polycarbonate. Two point one or ninety degrees. Two point three. And I feel resistant still. Oh. 2.3 is the peak. And now the perform. Wow. 3.9, but it didn't make that 90 degree turn. And this is why I use safety goggles. Uh, this just explodes very suddenly again, the resin. And here I could make maybe almost two turns before it broke. Let's analyze the results. Um, this is actually the layer adhesion test, but of course with the resin we don't have those layers. And uh, because of that weaker layer adhesion, so here the polycarbonate was very weak. So probably it should be printed on higher temperatures. And the next one is the tensile strength. So here we, uh, we don't have that weakness uh, of the layer uh, adhesion. And here the PC was much stronger. And I, I recalculate this using the areas, uh, real areas. So uh, in this graph, you can see actually the megapascals or Newton per square millimeter. So they are comparable with each other, independent that the resin was smaller in cross section area. Share stress. Uh, again, there was a difference because uh, the test specimens on PC was five and the resin was six millimeters. But again, I recalculated the real area and uh, this uh, shear stress is comparable with each other and here the polycarbonate was also stronger. Bending test. So I recorded here the load at 2 mm deformation and uh, interesting that the resin was um, better keeping that position and the breaking load was again bigger with the resin and uh, but it broke only after 2.6 millimeters, so it's it's quite brittle. But maybe this is good, depend of the application. Oh, the impact test. Uh, yes, the resin was more brittle, but actually here this is also brittle material, so almost like I don't know PLA. And on torque test. Uh, again, the, this time the maximum torque was bigger with the resin, but it didn't make 90 degree turn, so it broke after maybe 45 degree uh, angle. And uh, with the PC, I could make uh, one and a half rotation, and the peak was 2.3 newton meters. Again, uh, similar with the bending test, uh, depend on uh, what is your application. So maybe this is better. So keeping better its position. Uh, and uh, even on the higher torque, and then broke suddenly after small deformation. Another conclusion, first about the material, polycarbonate, great and very strong material, but needs printing on higher temperatures. And if you don't reach th those temperatures, in that case you may have a weaker layer adhesion, so this is important to pay attention for. Uh, perform resin, also great material, a little bit too brittle for my taste, uh, but um, depend on the application, maybe that's good. Take a look of that bending and torque test, uh, less deformation before it breaks on same or maybe even bigger load. Uh, if you own a CD printer, in that case you may find uh, PCB way services a little bit expensive, uh, but don't forget, this is possibility to print something uh, what you cannot do at home. Maybe somebody don't have an enclosure, but he needs a bigger ABS part. Or maybe somebody has, I don't know, uh, some budget printer and uh, needs something from nylon or polycarbonate. Or, or maybe, for example, me, I still don't have SLACD printer, uh, but sometimes I need something from resin. 
I think PCB way should pay a little bit more attention uh, for the accuracy. Uh, but about those first few layers on SLA printing, uh, several times I noticed that uh, they are some like uh, missing or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure what is the reason. Maybe if there are some uh, SLA CD printing experts watching this video, give me some uh, explanation to this because uh, I'm constantly using SLA CD printing services. I still don't have a uh, resin printer. And uh, uh, several times I noticed that, uh, like, like first few layers are missing some, uh, on those objects. I learned something new from this video. I hope you learned too. Thank you for watching and happy printing.